So come back to your website, hover this, go to your dashboard, to your WordPress website dashboard, whatever website you have created. Okay, so now what we have to do, we have to install a plugin, a free plugin, a very, very useful plugin. Okay, so for that, hover here, which says plugin and click on add new. Okay, now under this search plugin, just type in word app, W R D A W P app, obviously, and press enter. Okay, as you can see guys, we are getting two different results. Okay, the first one is word app by app developer dot biz and the second one is word app by word app. But we want this one word app by app developer dot biz, uh, which has more than 8000 active installs and I have already installed it. So and activated it. So if you haven't, you'll see something like this, which would say install now. So just click on install now and activate. Once you do so, you'll uh, see this thing over here at the left hand side, you'll see this word app thing. Just click on that. Okay, now scroll down and click on this get started now button. Okay, I see here the main fun begins. As you can see, uh, there is a, you can see a, you know, a preview of your app, how your app would look like uh, in mobile phone. Okay, and as you can see at the top, uh, there is a header. I don't want that header. I want my website exactly to look same on uh, the mobile website. So what I'll do is first, so let's start from top first. First one is uh, app toolbar color. This is the app toolbar color. We don't want to change that because I'll be totally removing that section. Okay, that is just useless section. According to me, you can give a name to your app. I will give it blog dude obviously okay app logo you can upload the app logo i already have created a logo you obviously would have your own logo just upload that logo go to upload files select your file and let me select that file here is my logo okay uh, it should be 51 by uh, 512 by 512 so 512 pixels by 512 pixels okay and click select this image and click on open Okay, now click on this select button. Okay, once you do so, just scroll down. And now as you can see, we also can see our logo over here. Okay, now let's scroll down again. Let's first see the preview of how our website looks like at present. Okay, this is how it looks like. Let's scroll down. Okay, opening page, how should, a, uh, what should be your opening page? So basically you have different a type of post, a list of posts. Last, I, I would recommend not to touch all these things and uh, you can select this opening page and you can select different pages uh, if you want a different page to be uh, displayed. If you want your home page to be displayed like it is displaying on your website, select default home page. If you don't wanna do any settings, just make this thing default, use WordPress default settings, okay? After doing so, just click on save changes again. Okay guys, now go to this section, menus and bars section, just click on this menus and bars. So here basically it will ask you if you want a bottom navigation. So basically if you select a bottom navigation on, so what would this do is, you know, bring your navigation at the bottom. So I don't want that. I don't want to do any changes over here. I just want my website to look exactly you know the same on the app so i don't want to do any change over here if you want a top nav or bottom nav side nav whatever you want you can select this and make this on i don't know i don't want to do that okay now go to slideshow and let's see whether we need any change over there or not okay we don't want to do any changes over here everything is fine this is not a, a very important step we just have to make this thing off activate the slideshow we'll make this thing off okay now go to the last option which is the app structure and that is the most important option so click on app structure okay now here again it will ask you for app icon so upload that icon which you just uploaded okay select this one this is the one which we just uploaded okay 
and click on this select button over here so you should see that now the second option is an app splash this is basically the image which comes uh, when you open your website uh, when you open your android app you see first uh, a, a page or an image comes so basically this is that screen you know so your image must be 600 40 pixels into 113 pixels uh, as you can see over here so i have already created an image so i will upload that so just click on upload splash and here is the image which i have created was 640 into 1136 now select this okay fine now here you have to give a name to your app okay so again i will put in blog dude fine app version will be 0 0.01 which is fine you can give a app description keyword you can select a category for let's select entertainment you can also give some keyword and description to your app if you want okay now just click on save changes now after doing all these changes just click on this publish app at the top if you see this publish app tab just click on this publish app okay fine once you do so uh, you will receive uh, this thing over here this page now we have our app name completed app icon completed app splash screen this is the three most important thing now here you have to enter the email address on which you want your apk file basically the apk file is just the file your software file okay android software file or android app file more specifically okay so i am putting my email address and just click on this publish android app okay so once you do so within an hour for me it was mostly within an hour so within an hour you'll receive two different emails from these guys let me show you how that would look like okay guys as you can see in my mobile phone uh this is the first email which you'll receive from these guys thank you for a recent request your app has been sent to our blah blah blah, blah. so this is not the important email after that you will receive another email okay so i might have received it already some times ago so let's search that okay here it is like uh -huh, fine so the second email which you will receive it would look something like this and here you will have your download apk file okay so this is the link which you have to click once you click on this link your file will get uh, downloading it will start downloading and okay you just have to click on okay and as you can see uh, your file is getting downloaded but i have already uh, downloaded this file so i'll let me show you how that file would look like in your mobile phone okay so go to your explorer okay uh, apk files and as you can see i have created many different apps and the top one uh, is my app okay so you can just install this app okay click on install i have already done that but again just installing app install click on done first okay now let's see as you can see we have our app over here okay my we have the logo which we just installed we have our app name block dude everything is fine let's open and see whether everything is working fine or not okay so as you can see this is the splash image which we uploaded our website is getting loaded or uh, the android app now it is not a website it's an android app that sounds cool okay for free okay man this looks terrific awesome okay so as you can see this is an android app we didn't have to spend a single penny and we have our android app it looks amazing super awesome nothing has changed it really has you know uh, this really looks awesome and i'm really happy to see this okay so this is how you create an android app but this is not the end after this you have to in, you know okay fine i got an email okay let's okay after this you will have to upload this to google play store so that anyone and everyone can install it uh, 